Here is question number two on polynomial functions. The question is, which equation does not represent polynomial function? We are given four different equations. Now to get the right answer, you should isolate y. That will help you to get the answer quickly. You can also answer by inspection. Now these are the two techniques which can be used. I prefer inspection at times. Now we know this is a polynomial. However, the one given in the factored form doesn't seem to be, right? So that is by inspection. But let me show you by isolation what I'm trying to mean. When I say y plus 2 plus x whole cube equals to 0, I could write this as y equals to minus 2 plus x whole cube. Now this is a polynomial, right? The other one here is, if I isolate, we get y plus x whole cube equals to minus 2. Now, cube root, that means y plus x equals to cube root of minus 2, correct? I could write this as y equals to minus x plus cube root of minus 2. Now that is also a polynomial, right? So we did two of them. So both are polynomials. The third one, let me show you the third one now, which we thought could be not a polynomial, right? So it's difference of squares. So when I say x minus y times x plus y equals to 0, if we expand, we get x squared and we get plus xy and then you get minus xy and minus y squared equals to 0. Now xy plus xy is 0. You could have straight away written x squared minus y squared equals to 0 also. Perfect. Perfect. Now from here, we can write y squared equals to x squared or what is y equals to? y equals to plus and minus square root of x squared. Do you see that? Plus and minus square root of x squared. So plus and minus indicate that there are two values for y for any value of x. So it is not a function also, right? So this one is not a function also, right? Correct. And also, if in any equation you get a term which is y square, not a polynomial. Does make sense, right? It is not a polynomial if you get the term y square, right? So that gives you option C as the right option for which one of these equations does not represent a polynomial function. Now that doesn't make sense, right? Now this one clearly is a polynomial function, y equals to x minus two whole squared. So by elimination also, you could have achieved the result. So I hope the concept is clear. Thanks for watching and all the best.